then this, this this DNA with this P5 will be taken inside the capsid. And how? Let's say here the arrangement is going on with this P8 proteins are arranging just like 20 degree angle the arrangement. Then the addition of other proteins like uh, the, the terminal proteins like P9, P7 and on the other terminal 6 and other proteins. Then the DNA is inside and they are covering the DNA with other uh, other rounds of other rounds of GP8. And finally when they will cover or finish this covering of this DNA inside this capsid, it will be ready to go. So in this case the P5 proteins on the DNA are replaced by P8 and other filamentous proteins in the inner membrane. Now as filament proteins assemble, the fudge slides out the P4 pore. The pore is replugged re re by P1 and P11 in this case so that no further molecules can move out and for future fudge can move out. So the moving out or the release of the bacteriophage M13 is also different from other type of phages. Usually we have seen the phages that lies the host cell and come out but in this case we are seeing that this M13 bacteriophages are not lysing the, uh, these phages. They are kind of releasing out from the pore uh, that are being created by P4 proteins in this case. So as they are creating P4 in this case, the pore in this case and through this pore uh, this, this matured M13 can come out. Now in the absence of GP3, elongation would continue with GP8 encapsidating another viral DNA to generate a polyphage. So polyphage means many more phage particles are kind of joined together, many DNAs are coming to join together. So one after another, the phage particles are kind of joined. So each of them are complete phage particle, but still they are not releasing outside. They are waiting for certain time to be released. So this kind of configuration having more and more fully configured phage particles attached to each other prior to the release are called as formation of polyphage. Okay. And the release of this M13, remember, they do not lyse the infected cells. Instead, they are kind of coming out from the pores. So the bacteria, however, can live, but still the growth of those bacteria is getting slower. So what we get a kind of uh, plaque-like regions in the lawn of bacteria. It helps us to distinguish whether this is a viral infection or not in this kind of cases. So that's in a nutshell uh, M13 bacteriophage and I hope that's helpful.